In this video, we will see how to do unsupervised classification in Saga GIS. So, we will get a Landsat data here. This is Landsat 9 data and we are taking from B2 to B7 means blue to short wave infrared bands. Now, click open. Now, we will visualize it in RGB composite. Click here at B5 and then go to colors in description and change the type to RGB composite. So now we are giving B5 as a red, now for green B4 and then blue B3 and click apply and double click here. You can now visualize it in RGB. So for example, we will be taking a small area of this image for unsupervised classification. So go, go to geoprocessing, grid, grid system and then clip grid interactive. Select the grid system here and take all these bands, click OK and click OK. Take this action tool and just make a rectangle here. Suppose I am taking like this. Now we are having this much columns and this much rows in the new image. So click OK. So new grid system is created. We can close this. Now we can again visualize it as RGB. Go to select this V5 band first. So this is assigned as red. Now select the grid system and for green we are giving band 4 and for blue we are giving band 3. Click apply and then double click here. So this is our area of interest now. Now we will go for unsupervised classification, just go to geoprocessing, imagery, classification, and unsupervised, you will find two methods are there, ISO data and k-means, we will be taking k-means as example, so go to grid system and select all the bands here, click ok, and cluster it will be creating, then statistics it will be creating, and methods there are th two methods mainly, one is iterative minimum distance and hill climbing. We can take a combination of both and then maximum iteration we can change suppose 20. Number of cluster you can take 10 as a default and then click OK. So now it has created this cluster. Double click here and visualize it in new map. So now you can see there are 10 rows means 10 classes are there. Here. We can click here and you see many colors are almost confusing colors. So we can change the colors first. So cluster 1 is ok, 2 is ok, this is also ok, this is also ok. We can change it like suppose yellow. Then cluster 5 we can give green. Then light green. dark green and this has pink now click ok and then apply so now we can identify different colors now we go to windows and tile vertically so these two images will be tiled vertically now we can go for synchronize map extent so click on the cluster and go to synchronize map extents now whenever wherever you are clicking in this image the same person will be shown in this image. So suppose I am clicking here, here, see, this image also moves from to the same area. Now we have to identify the classes. So see, here in the Z you will see this is cluster 3. So my cluster 3 is water body. Similarly, this area, cluster 4 is sand ok and then this green one is forest and this cluster 9 and cluster 6 are forest ok so we can write first then we have to combine classes so 
cluster this is cluster 3 this is water body so we will write w for this cluster 4 is sand so we will write s for it and then cluster 6 and cluster 9 are forest 6 is forest and 9 are also forest now you see this is cluster 1 cluster 1 is crop and then cluster 8 is also crop so this is crop and this is crop Again you will see, this is cluster 10 is fallow land. Now cluster 5. Cluster 5 is also crop. Cluster 2 is also fallow land. So we can give FL here. And then cluster 7, if you are having confusion, you can again go to here and see cluster 7 is light green click ok so we will find the light green areas here this one so these are all built up area the light green is built up area so so now you can clearly see that we have to merge class 5 and class 8 to class 1 Similarly, class 10 to class 2, class 9 to class 6. So, we will go for combined classes. Go to Geoprocessing, Greet, Values and Combined Classes. Select this grid system and select the cluster. Okay. Output we have to create or we can change make the changes to the same input also cluster itself so what we will be creating new then go to parameters now what we have to do class 5 and class 8 we have to make it class 1 so go to class 5 here and class make it class 1 similarly class 8 also then class 10 is class 2 Then class 3 is water body, no problem. Class 4 is also sand. Class 5 we have changed. Class 6 and 9 will be same. So 9 we have to change at class 6. So now we, have, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 classes. So click OK and OK. So now we are having you have to select yes save changes as yes and double click here click ok a new window it will be opening we can see that we are having six rows means six classes are there so now we can rename it like class one is crop so we can name it crop and give it a color like light gray Similarly, class 2 is fallow land. We can name it and then fallow land suppose light green we are given. Similarly, class 3, uh, cluster 3 is water so blue color is ok for this. Cluster 4 is sand so we can give sand color. Rename it as sand. Now, cluster 6 is forest. So dark green is okay and cluster 7 is built up area so we can change it as pink color and built up rename it as built up and then click ok and apply so now this is our classified image then how to get the area under each class so go just right click in the meantime we can remove these 
bands close yes okay and we can also remove this also click okay now we are having this only the classified image now just right click here and see the histogram so it is showing now the histogram of your classes so maximum pixels are in crop and forest then fallow water built up and sand now if you are clicking here on the histogram you will see these tools so go to convert to table now open this table it will show you the area so this is the area for class 1 means crop these figures are in meter square if you are clicking on the table you will find a tool of add field just add a field suppose hectare and then it will be four white floating and it will be insert after the field max right of max so click okay so one column is there now hectare just right click here field calculator now target field is hectare and formula will be suppose this one is this class this field is field 2 1 and 2 so f2 okay divided by sorry 10000 so it will give you area in hectare click okay so this is your area in hectare so this is how we can do unsupervised classification and calculate combine the classes and get the area under each class so now we are having the areas of each classes and now you can go for mapping it so just click here and get a north arrow and the scale is already there first we will rename it as land is land cover suppose l u l c then click apply and then so print layout so this is, this map you can save it as export as suppose png or jpeg or tiff image so suppose i am saving it as jpeg file so click save and resolution you can define like suppose 300 click okay so you can find your map now in jpeg format like this thank you for watching